Christy, good boy. Are you gonna let me film? Are you gonna let me film? <laughs> hey guys, so today I thought I would do kind of a little tour of my salt and crystal lamp collection. I've been accumulating salt lamps and crystals and crystal lamps for the past few years and it's absolutely changed the way that I feel about my apartment, my space. It's just completely transformed it. I live and work most of the time in the small studio apartment and at first it was really really hard to get inspired but then I started to collect my salt lamps and put them all around and it's completely transformed my space and now I absolutely love being here. I'm a homebody so it's really important to me to have a place that I feel calm and I love to be in so I think it's really important to have things around you that inspire you and make you happy and you know just things that you love so I'm not gonna ramble on too much I'm just going to wait until the Sun goes down tonight and then I will show you my salt lamp and crystal lamp collection so I hope you love all my lamps as much as I do and enjoy the video so when you first walk into my apartment, I have this little table by the entrance and it has a beautiful large selenite lamp. I bought this one from a wholesaler I went to and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I wanted a selenite lamp for so long and it just looks like a castle to me. It reminds me of like an ice castle that Elsa would live in in Frozen and it's really beautiful and really tall. And then next to it, I have a little white Himalayan salt lamp. And this is actually one of my newest salt lamps to my collection. I got this one from sowellmade.com. Absolutely love it. It actually comes on a dimmer, so you can make it kind of dim and romantic, or you can brighten it up. So I really, really like the dimmer. And then just around it, I have some spirit quartz, but it's not gonna show up on the camera. All the salt lamps and crystal lamps that I have don't look as good on the camera as they do in real life, but there's nothing I can do about that. And then over here, I have just my little kitchen. My apartment's pretty small. It's about 420 square feet, I think. So it's small apartment living, but I make do with it. And then right here, I have my diffuser going. This one was a limited edition diffuser from Sage Wellness. So unfortunately they don't sell it anymore, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just like an art piece to me. So I'm really, really happy that I have that. Right now I have some bedtime story by Living Libations going. So that's really cool. And I like how it has this light because it just adds to my light collection. You can turn it off or you can have it on. And I think it looks really, really pretty on at night. And then, what should I show you next? Oh, wait. Who's this? Who's this little beautiful prince? You're so nice. We have Bambi sitting on his throne. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Who's that? Who's that? Good boy. <laughs> He's like, leave me alone, Mom. Who's the good boy? Oh, you're so nice, Bobo. And then over here on my cabinet, I have a amber Himalayan salt lamp. And this was actually, I think, either the first or one of the first salt lamps I ever bought. And I got this one, I believe, at a health food store. So it's just a nice small lamp. And then beside it, I have my citrine crystal that I got in Tucson last year. Up here, I have my Holly Sierra Kindred Spirits painting. And then I have some books and my 
Rose Quartz bookends, which I absolutely love. So I have the Book of Stones, Flower Evolution, Fermented Vegetables, Moon Time, The Alchemist, and The Four Agreements. Highly recommend all those books. And then over here I have my computer area. So this is where I edit and spend a lot of my time. So I have this lamp here that I painted turquoise just to get a little bit more light in here. And then I have this beautiful Himalayan salt lamp. I think I got this one at a health food store as well. And I just think it's the perfect shape and size. I absolutely love this one. Super gorgeous. And then I have my screensaver, which is Bambi. And he looks so cute. Look at that little tongue. So I can look at him all day long. <laughs> and then over here I have my all-time favorite Himalayan salt lamp. This is an amber Himalayan salt sphere. And I got this one for my birthday a few years ago. I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. It just looks like the sun. Himalayan salt lamps are supposed to give off negative ions and help clean the air, but I just love them because I find them to be very relaxing to look at. And I love turning off all my lights and just having my lamps on. It's just my favorite thing. So that's what I do every night. And then over here, I have my main crystal shelf. So I have quite a few lamps on there. And the first lamp is this gorgeous white Himalayan salt pyramid. I absolutely love this one. Um, yeah, it's just really gorgeous. And then below it, I just have this pyrite. And then... Down here I have an amethyst lamp. This was given to me as a gift. And this, I've tried to film this before and it just doesn't capture it. In real life, it's so beautiful. It just gives off this really light pink light, but it's really hard to capture on camera. And then down here I have a s another selenite and I love this one. It's really, really bright. I love my tall one, but it doesn't give a, off as much light because it's so big. So this one is just perfect. And then my last one on this shelf is this beautiful rose quartz lamp. And rose quartz is probably my favorite crystal to have around the house. So I absolutely love this one. And then next to it, I have this beautiful sparkly amethyst geode. I've got lots of different crystals on the shelves, as you can see. So this is kind of my crystal shelf where I just display all my crystals. I absolutely love it. It's so calming to just have that in my apartment. And then over here, this area might look kind of familiar to you guys. This is actually where I film my videos. So those are my Alex drawers from Ikea and they're on wheels. And what I'll do is I'll just wheel them to the opposite side of the room if I wanna film something, like if I wanna do a lookbook with the white wall and it's just really handy. So the glamorous life of YouTube and then I really, really love these drawers. And they actually hold more crystals. So these are crystals that I sell in my shop. New shop coming very, very soon. Getting a new website ready. So yeah, I store crystals and supplies in there. And then on top, of my Alex drawers. I have these two gorgeous white Himalayan salt lamps. These ones were from So Well Made as well. They're ethically mined and they also have the dimmer switch. I love the square one. I think that's so cool. And then I have the sphere one, just like my amber sphere one. Uh, so it's 
really really pretty white Himalayan salt this is kind of cool you can actually put a crystal and it kind of lights it up so this is a phantom quartz and you can see the phantom inclusion in there and I just thought that was kind of cool a cool use because it just kind of lights it up and I'll show you the dimmer switch on this one as well so you can dim them or keep it as bright as you want just using this switch so that is it for my little apartment tour with my crystal lamps I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know I have a lot of lamps um, a lot of them were gifts to me and they just make me really happy they've absolutely changed the way I feel about my apartment because before I wasn't too happy here but now I now that I have a space that I love and I have beautiful things around me I just feel so happy and I never want to leave my apartment and yeah oh also over there I have some twinkle lights going up the pole so I can just lay in bed and admire all my salt lamps and I will end it with this beautiful little boy he looks like he's gonna go to bed so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I love you and we will see you next time bye